I'm Dale Marsh, and these are my 10 questions. So if you fell asleep today and woke up in the year 2050, what would be the first thing you Google? How the world ended. But then we wouldn't have internet, I guess. So how would that work? I don't really know. Just the first thing that came to mind. Next. <laughs> Here's the question. If you were a pair of shoes, what would you be? I think Doc Martens. I think they're very versatile. They can be stylish. They can be grunge. And yet they're very durable as well. So they last a long time. Here we go. Who was your first celebrity crush? Alyssa Milano would have been like in the 1980s probably. Where was she from? I have no idea what shows she was even in. I forget now. <laughs> it wasn't Saved by the Bell. It wasn't Doogie Howser. Give him some space. I'll give him some space. Right between his teeth. <laughs> I'm getting all flustered. Sinead O'Connor was right up there too. Next question. If you had to pick one person to be the ambassador of the human race to meet aliens, who would it be? Well, I would say probably Prime Minister Trudeau, the current one, uh, Justin, as he has really nice hair and he never really answers questions. He just kind of goes in circles and more circles. He doesn't give a direct answer to anything. So I think he would uh, keep the earth in existence a little bit longer than if we, for example, gave him Trump. Because I, I feel like Trump would just set them off and bye bye world. And then in 2050, I'd probably have to Google, you know, what happened to the world. Next question. What is the fiercest animal you think you could take in a fight? Maybe like a hamster, a really big hamster, groundhog, depending on the size of a dog. Nah, it would have to be a pretty small dog. Emus are tough. You can get sliced open by their, their talons. I think a camel, I just keep going up in size. I'm trying to, trying to justify here, you know. Camels, I feel like they're fast and they spit. But if I wore goggles, I think I could take a camel. Although they do have really good memory. So I feel like maybe in a couple of years later, it would hunt me down in my sleep and get revenge. But I, I think I'm gonna go with a camel. How long do you think it would take to drink the water in an above ground pool? So I think it would depend on what time of year you actually started because in the winter, well, it would be frozen. And in the spring, you get a lot of precipitation. So I, I think if I started like around end of May, start of June, when it's pretty hot out, there's more evaporation. I think I could do it in about nine weeks. I need a pretty good size straw because I don't want to be sitting inside the pool as I'm drinking it. That's just disgusting. I'm counting on a lot of evaporation. <laughs> would you rather always have the hiccups or a headache? I'm gonna go with hiccups because I actually kind of find hiccups funny. What's the world record for longest hiccups? Is a, a guy like Guinness record, isn't it like 60 years or something like that? that I mean, I, I feel like that would be torture, but I, I think at least I could concentrate more with hiccups than I could if I had a headache all the time. I would just want to sleep all the time. You're in a car chase with the police. What song is playing in your car? Damn, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> what, uh, what songs do the police sing? So my assumption is that I'm actually in the police car with the police and we're chasing somebody. And of course, I'm in uh, riding shotgun in the passenger seat here, uh, which means I'm controlling the, uh, the eight track cassette deck. And the best song I can think of by the police would be do, 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 da, 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 da. Which is also worth eight points in categories. I was thinking every breath you take, but I feel like that might be Chicago. Or every breath you take. And it's also a really creepy stalker song. Yeah. Here we go. What is your favorite part about being a realtor? Interacting with people, helping people out, educating people. I remember I took a, one of those aptitude tests in grade eight and it said that I should be an educator, like a teacher, or in sales. I feel like being a realtor is actually a bit of both where I get to educate people about the market, how to buy a home, the whole process, and then help them with their transaction as well. Happy people. 
Thanks for watching everybody. Again, this has been Dale Marsh with the Santa Sells Houses team, and those were my 10 questions.